Still need quite a few more votes, though. Jake, show us hangar, please. Eh? I'm sorry, that's not English to me. Okay, so they're coring the cheapest province so far. That doesn't bode well for me. That unrest is high, but at least it's only woods. Don't have that much to deal with. If they have an outbreak of reps, we can go over and deal with it. No problem. Do it in one shot. Ah, thank God. Goodbye. Uh... Goodbye, war exhaustion. Farewell, occupations. Now, how's it coming along there, Maria? The Pragmatic Sanction was passed, so you are eligible. But only Brandenburg wants to back... No? Okay, it's a tie. You need to secure yourself a tiebreaker. But I hardly know her. And that's great, our manpower barely suffered at all in that war. I always take quantity in my games. This time I'm going to see about not taking quantity. You know, given the huge amount of aggressive expansion I've just taken, although I love trade efficiency, man, it might be better to get better relations over time. Because we're only degrading at 3.0 yearly. We can make that considerably better. Yeah, 3.6, because... Yeah, okay. Jake, build armories. Uh, they cost money, man. Do I look like I'm made of money? We'll make the great Roma armory, but probably nothing more. Alright, Frenzy's capital's finally done. We can humiliate them, take the money, take the money. Not even much inflation. In fact, that pays for our armory. And... You know, Savoy's a bit of a paper tiger. Actually, we'll hold out and get both. The extra blockade might be enough to convince them. Indeed it is. Peace at last. This peace is what all true warriors strive for. Let's get ourselves some more galleys on the go. Just with Lisboa, Portugal are pretty rich. They got the majority of all this trade. I'd like to move my trade center over to uh, Andalusia, or rather to the Sevilla trade node, because it's going to make us the boon dollar. But at the moment, we're just going to have to settle for this. Everybody wanting to claim it. Mm, discovered. That makes things even worse for dealing with Portugal. Hmm. You know, thinking about it better, if I gave up Porto, I could annex and release Portugal. <clears throat> and then... No, in fact, I could... Uh... No, why don't I just annex them anyway? Alright, sure enough, people are not keen on what I'm doing. But that's fine, he's only at the cusp there. I need to think if there are other people who are close to wanting me dead, who I could feasibly get out of that. Yeah, well, there's Ferrara. I need to keep them positive or else they're going to join that coalition. Good. Now, the thing about Aragon is we're going to want to fight them eventually, aren't we? They have Neapolitan cores that I want back. Also, it's a great way to be feeding uh, Naples anyway. They might be pathetic, but I still need them to be half-decent. Rubbish. 
so we'll get the Sicilian land back. Thankfully, I haven't converted Malta either. The roads are still fine. Bad times for Livonian order, but Novgorod is utterly denying Muscovy, so they can't take exploration. That's lovely. It's one less Christian that I have to worry about being a runaway train. England, when do they take exploration? Is that their second or third idea? Same for France, because this is fun and all beating up on the Iberians, but I'm going to have to take care of France eventually. And the weakened Austria isn't helping out in that matter. In that case, having Aragon as a friend is actually working out. I don't need to worry about these cores, really. They last 150 years from the start date. Eliminating Portugal and Castile from the space race is more important. You hate me, but you can't do anything since you're a vassal. Brittany, though. Why Brittany? What have I ever done to you? England second, France third, usually. Oh, jeez. Deconstructing England is going to be a pain in the rear end. Remember, Scotland take exploration as well, but I think it's something like their fifth idea group. Norway also a problem. Oh, that's one problem solved. Thanks, man. Fazan have some... Yes. You fight down here, you're fighting everyone. But that's alright, they're pathetic. I don't want to spend my money on armories. Is there anything, anything at all I could be spending my military points on? I can't even harsh treat them because they're not large enough. I could pay way over the odds for that, or I could re-roll myself another general. Western tech problem. Ah, you're garbage. Let's try another one. Yeah. There we go, 100 points just wasted for utterly nothing. Okay, so you're defending... You are, you re-allied Castile, so the Iberian trio again is real. Hmm, what can I do to help? We can reassemble our navy and figure out how to make it bigger, better, and more naval than ever before. Three barks, they're constantly privateering. Seven cogs is enough. They can get everyone over to Iberia in two shots. So the obvious answer is more cogs. Uh, more... More galleys. Jake, Brittany takes exploration 4th, Norway 6th, Scotland 3rd. Thank you, but Norway's problem is that they get their national ideas, giving them a colonist and the ability to explore. I really fear that we're going to have to take exploration as our next idea group. Something I really do not want to do. France no longer considers Castile a rival. What a joke nation you are. And you're still going to be bankrupt for a while. It's a shame our truce is going to be way too long, but you're going to be so racked with rebs, I don't think it'll matter. These rebs, do they increase autonomy? It's hard to tell. Heretics. Because he's already gaining autonomy from uh, bankruptcy. Jeez. Castile, you've uh, you really bit the bullet. Alright, since there's not much going on, with a heavy heart, I think I'm going to have to go exploring. Ugh. I don't want to make colonies, though. They're going to be uh, Christian. I suppose they can be flipped easily enough. Oh, this is every flavour of disgusting imaginable. Wait until we have the 800 points, and then we'll go exploring. I'll also need a light ship or two for doing it. Mm, that's great. I don't care about Catholicism getting reformed desire. I am the Pope. I will deal with this schism. Jake, I'm getting screen log. Audio is fine though. Yeah, again, a bunch of tr a bunch of frames just dropped. Also, whoa, France, what are you doing? We were all chummy chummy a moment ago. It's because we had a shared rival, wasn't it? 
And now we do not, because you no longer see France's arrival. Hmm. It's going to take a wee while for that aggressive expansion to burn off. But we need to keep our uh, relations pretty, pretty good. Competing great power, that's probably doing it as well. What a shame. Jake, you can always cancel exploration. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, we will be cancelling it. We'll need quests for the New World in order to explore anything, though. But it'll give us an idea of what our uh, what our friends are up to. Naval limit of 16, so I can afford to uh, throw another boat into the sea. Let's get ourselves a bark for exploring. makes a lot of sense to pull all of our troops out of Italy since there's no fighting probably going to be happening over here. Unless I can excommunicate Tuscany, in which case Tus Tuscany becomes a new vassal. That'll be tight for timing though. Not that I want uh, Urbanus the Seventh to die though. Great man. So the issue here is we have three members of the coalition against us, so they all have the coalition CB. I can almost get Genoa out of it. He's not at war, is he? He's not. Could just proclaim guarantee, but let's throw him some money so we make sure he stays out of it for a wee while. 25 is plenty. He'll leave the coalition and then nobody gets the coalition CB on us. Because that's dangerous. France might just say, oh, coalition CB, what a great excuse to take Provence and... Well, not Avignon, it's not your core, but they would still... Slap me down hard. Jake, take a look at viewers. 798. This is insane. It's almost over 900. Earlier I was thinking, oh, I should do some really lame thing where I say, if I get to 1000, I'll do this lame thing. But, uh, getting a little close for comfort, so. Maybe not. Jake, drop Castile's arrival and take England instead to make France a bit more happy. No, we're not done with Castile yet. They may still have a colony out here. Although I'm hoping it's bankrupt, there's no guarantee. I'll need another 50 dip for an explorer, so uh, we'll hold off taking the exploration just yet. Jake, you can till kill two Pope in a row sinking ships with them as general. That has never worked before, and I doubt it's going to work now. Time for you to leave that coalition now, Genoa. Like, right now. I could ally them to instantly get them out of it, but where's the fun in that? Master of Mint, though, that's what we're talking about. Get rid of that inflation without uh, me having to spend a penny. Corporate Galicia, reclaim Ferrara, rival of our rival. Mm, unless Ferrara is about to be my bestest buddy. Huh. Well, three points for me then. We need to have 125. I'm essentially spending 25 ducats to get 25 dip points. You know what, I'll take it. There is a problem that they might call me into this war though. What is it? Attacker against... No, they can't. They're not the war leader. Alright, sure, we'll do it. Ferrara's opinion is 125, alright. It's nice having money to just throw at people. Something I like to do in real life as well. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I used to take the rent and cash from the, uh, the lodgers. And then when they give it to me, knowing that they had to summon all these hundreds of pounds, when they're, uh, they're not that wealthy themselves, I would just rip my top off and rub the notes all over me. Didn't even care if it hurt. The point was that it hurt them a lot more than it hurt me, and I would laugh. Laugh and clap my hands together like an American. Ah, oh, I miss the uni days. Alright, I throw them a quick gift, and then uh, I enjoy my free Diplo points. 
Reloading the save should get Genoa out of the coalition. Yeah, it should, but so would allying them, but it would make them hate me for uh, destroying that alliance. Give them a cheeky wee gift. 25 will do. Three points. Of course, it did cost me two for all this. Still worth it. Now, let's go explore. Oh, that's where your colony is, huh? Have I got my bark yet. I'll be put to sea soon, but we can get exploring before that. All right, colonist. Explore. You know, this might actually be more useful than influence. Although I do still want influence. Ugh. Disgusting. I hate... Uh, I don't like it, shall we say. Alright, first off, Lonely Cog. Get yourself an explorer. Two maneuver, which is pretty good. We'll get one man on the cog. You know what? Let's roll him a conquistador. Oh, we're actually over the uh, leader limit now. Well, you're strictly worse than the other guy, and you're older. Should we roll ourselves a conquistador? We've got like nothing to lose here. Let's let's just do it. No, he's pretty garbage. All right, go exploring for me, please. Incorporate claim Badahoff and insult Bosnia. These are both amazing ideas. Start with the fast, because I really needed more military power to waste on anything. And claim Badahoff for even more military power. What could go wrong? It's amazing that Bosnia remains my rival. It's also amazing that they're still alive. Yeah, I'm well aware that my mill points are spilling over, but what what can I do? Can't, uh... I need a thousand power to get the next tech. Hmm. That's my phone telling me to, uh... get ready and go to work. But you know what? I think we can leave it for just a wee bit. I'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's just no longer going to be our rival. At least we get a fresh new one. And again, I can get another cardinal for a little bit of money. Sure, I'll take it. Tuscany might hate me. But look at our chances. Let's just hope our, uh, our guy dies right now. Okay, so... Yeah, you did manage to get a couple of places. It's all right, though. We'll take care of you in due time. I should, uh, if I'm going to be annexing you, maybe I should claim more. No, it's okay. You're only 98%, and if I do it with a conquest of Lisboa, it'll make it even cheaper. I just need to get on it fairly quickly. But I hope to goodness you are not uh, colonizing the new world at all right now. Get you done. Get you home. Should be in time to get our new light ship. Instead of us guys hanging around here, we should... Grasslands, plains, woods and woods. We'll get you over there, just in case there's a pop of a revolt. Work is just a number. Uh, can't worry about these things now, can we? I wonder if there'll ever be an event pop up in this game and it actually says just a number. Jeez, oh, Portugal are going mad with colonization right now. 
Maybe I should have made them not ally with Aragon. But I would really, I really need them to lose this province. It looks like that's going well, so Morocco should get the ticking war score from it. Alright, now before we finish up here, I want to know more about this colony. Glorious. Why are Morocco so aggressive? Alright, you've finished Sierra Leone, and yet you are still 95% to do. But it's uh, a little... Yeah. Knowing that these provinces are... Uh... Oh, hold on, it won't be less. It's already taking into account the fact that I have a claim on it, isn't it? No, no it's not. I'm safe. But where would they go after this? Let's figure it out once we get home. And yes, look at that. We still have too many military points. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. We'll just let it be too high. If we get a chance to smack down some rebel factions, then we can do that. But we can't until they hit 30%. Okay, so uh, Genoa really don't want to leave this coalition against me, and I have no idea why. Reloading would sort it. With that in mind, we can also get Brittany out, because now they have plus 50. And then the only person in the coalition will be France. He won't get a Cassus. Granted, he already has claim Cassus Belay, but if he wants to fight me, then he's going to have his work cut out for him, because Bohemia... Bohemia will save me, right? But that's something we'll sort out for another day, because I really don't want to be fired. Cheers, everyone, for joining. Cheers, record-breaking numbers of you for joining in. The Battle Pope is... Uh, trimming out the colonizers, and then he is going to, once he gets admin tech 10, convert to a far better religion, most likely Sunni. And then we're going to eradicate Christianity, not to be confused with eradicating humanity. I still need people to rule. So cheers folks, I shall see you... Oh man, now there's a question. I got the next three days off, but uh, I gotta search for houses. Hmm. Well, it's just gonna be potluck if you can find me. So long.